cruising down where the loggers are and score. Man, I wish they had the Ford right now and some cable. Yeah, it definitely wish they had some cable right now and the Ford. Some good tamarack, a few chunks of fur, all that's tamarack. Nice buckskin, sweet. Well, today turned into a firewood day. As you've seen in the, I'll show a clip here, just a few seconds ago, we're up here where the loggers are. And uh, yeah, they got a lot of this buckskin. This is tamarack right here. There's uh, another big log deck of nothing but firewood. So we're gonna fill up the Toyota. We might as well, we're here. It's on the ground, it's already limbed up. I mean, obviously the tamarack, you don't have that many limbs, but heck yeah, good find. Uh, I have a full tank in the 40, 441. Uh, I didn't bring any extra gas or anything like that. So hopefully we don't have to cut any uh, trees out of the road. Um, if need be, I guess we'll just start a fire under them and burn them. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna get this buzzed up and fill the Toyota up. I doubt we'll split any. We'll just probably buzz rounds and throw it in. But awesome find, Steve.
By far my favorite firewood, buckskin tamarack. Definitely gonna need a long cable and uh, bring the forward up here. I don't know, my both my log chains should reach most of this. Pretty stoked. To get this that's for sure well we'll get loaded what we have a little animal but i'm gonna split these in halves get a bunch on here anyway i think kelsey's gonna be jealous she didn't get it coming got some easy firewood This stuff just splits amazing. Oh, I brought, today was uh, my wedge banger, my bigger one. Didn't bring any, oh, didn't bring the firewood tools. Just threw in the ax and the saw, filled the saw up with gas. I hate leaving uh, a bunch of gear in my truck when we're out hiking. Uh, especially easy to grab stuff. I wasn't planning on cutting any firewood today, but you can't pass an opportunity like this. Super easy firewood and primo firewood. In my opinion, this is the best, best of the best. Straight grain, makes great kidling. This is my personal preference.
Put the bar behind you. It's got a little bit of wetness where the log, where the crack of the log was on the top. And, uh, but that'll dry out. Nice and slow. Set it down right there, that's fine. Well, we're gonna get this loaded up. I think I have enough cut. I got still this little bit right here, five blocks or so. This has gotta be the world's easiest firewood. I got it. You can start setting those up on the tailgate. We cut it, we bring it home. You know, we drove probably oh hour and a half away from home so this is well worth it to uh, stop for a half hour and load up this truck and I'll sell this load of firewood today and I'll probably pay for a trip and then sell it. I didn't mark these, I just guessed them. One thing you want to do, sorry if I'm yelling, it's just the wind. I don't know if the, come on, keep throwing them up. Is stack up high in the front. That way you keep all the weight off the back end. Set those blocks up back there. 
keep all the weight off your uh, back end. up there I'm gonna cut these blocks up well we're all loaded that took all of 30 minutes uh, to cut that up split it and throw it on thanks to some great help mr. Brantley thank you son You're what do you love about coming out in the woods louder hunting hunting and what else He told me this morning on the way up oh, what he cutting. what he loved about uh, our life. What do you love about our lifestyle? Hunting, fishing. Louder. Hunting, fishing. Wood cutting. Louder, come on. Wood cutting. Loud and proud. Camping. Camping. Shed hunting. Shed hunting. Yep. And salmon fishing. Salmon fishing, heck yeah. Well, we're going to go look for a nice open ridge, two walks, see if we can't pick up any horns, so stay tuned. We're just getting ready to jump in the truck and that green tree right there just fell. Hopefully there's not a lot of trees across the road because I don't know how much fuel I have left in the saw. So, like I said, if we have to, we'll burn them out of the way. But we're going to get down out of here. Lower country snow and mud just wanted to check in with you folks i don't know if we're gonna make it out of here tonight um we're almost out of gas and then saw i don't want to use it it's do or die um we we might not make it out of here uh there's a tree across the road we're almost out of gas i don't want to use it we need to save that fuel um i think we're gonna have to spend the night luckily we got some firewood uh we can keep warm uh yeah so Here's a tree across the road. Just kidding. <laughs> this ain't the history channel. <laughs> Man, I was just cutting this tree out of the road right here. That one just fell right behind us. In all seriousness, we do need to get out of here, that's for sure. Well, Whew, that one scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I was just pulling this chunks out of the oh dang it, out of the road. And that tree just fell. I have to keep our eyes peeled driving out of here.